Okay, welcome everybody to another Chaos Africa meeting. We usually hold these meetings bi-weekly, um, so at the same time, 3 p.m. WDAT. Um, so I have put, let me put the meeting minutes in the chats again. Please add your name and let us know what movie you can watch more than once. Mine is Girl Strip. So I've seen it like, I've seen it four times now. So yeah. Um, so we have, and also um, put up anything you want to talk about. We kind of have a full agenda, but there's still space to talk about more things. Um, so let's, I think we have some new formats here. Um, Toby, would you like to introduce yourself and you know, let us know what you do and mainly what you do where you're based in? Okay, thank you, Ruth. Hello, everybody. My name is Toby Balogo. Um, I am currently a, I work as a backend engineer. Uh, I'm based in Lagos. Oh, nice. Backend engineer. What, what language? Um, I primarily use JavaScript and TypeScript. Oh, interesting. TypeScript. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Nice to meet you, Toby. I uh, hope to see you in future meetings. <laughs> hope so, too. <laughs> Hi, Ahmad. I don't think I've met you on a meeting before. Do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, it does where you're joining from. Um, hi. Oh, um, no, hi. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, that's I, I just realized. Yeah. Um, 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 yeah. I, I just realized from the notes that you're the armor. <laughs> sorry for that. Um, um, hi, to me. I'm sorry. Hi, yeah. hi Kudzai. I think this is the first hi. time. I um, hi, Kudzai. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, uh, sorry, just introduce myself. Yeah, it just your know, wh where what you do and where you're joining us from. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is my first um, Chaos Africa meeting. Uh, my name is Kudzai. I'm joining from Zim, Zimbabwe, and yeah. I'm a freelance software engineer, um, web developer in Django. And sorry if it's a bit loud. And if I'm monthly, I'm in a coffee shop. I'm not sure how good your Wi Fi is, so hopefully, I don't have any problem. Okay, thank you, Kudai. And I met Kudai in Python, Namibia, so it's great to have you here um, join us. Um, hmm. do I see any newcomers? We have a lot of Davids in Chaos Africa, so sometimes when I see a new David, I want to be sure that the David that is here is not David that I have that I know. So, <laughs> David, I the David I know. <laughs> this is the first time you're joining. Yeah, it's the David, you know, of course, same David. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I just wanted David, to David from... <laughs> no worries. I just wanted to confirm. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Hi, Mary Blessing. Um, so last week, um, we okay, I think I think I usually do this, like give a, a summary on Chaos Africa, especially for the new people that have that joined. So um Chaos Africa is like is the chapter of the Chaos Project and like the African chapter of the Chaos Project. And um, what we do is we we are focused on um, creating metrics um, to measure open source community health in Africa. Um, even the larger Chaos group is more on a global level. And then Chaos Africa is more like, let's look at how we can um, sustain um, open source contributions and even help people that build projects or maintainers to, um, create metrics that they can use to measure community health. So that's what we do. Um, and then we also have, we usually do work through different focus groups. There's one for developers, designers, researchers, 
um, and technical writers, but we usually used to do meetings, like separate meetings, but last week, we kind of like decided that we would all have like those conversations in just this meeting, like still last week, we said we we're going to have every, all the conversations in just this meeting, so um, this meeting is going to involve um, working sessions, uh, on the spot working sessions, planning, and updates. So that's what um, the weekly or the bi-weekly things would look like. So um, starting with, I think the first thing on the agenda is um, the research survey. So sometime in, in June, when we started Chaos Africa, so Chaos Africa is getting to one year, so yay. Um, so when we started, we kind of, uh, we opened up the research focus group, um, some group of people opened up like a research, a research survey that we sent out to people, uh, we sent out that survey, um, at, I think around July, last July, August, September, either of those months, we sent out that survey then to understand the challenges that um, African people that contribute to open source in Africa were facing because we're trying to understand the state of like uh, open source in Africa and how we can help, like how Chaos Africa as a community can reach these challenges. So we did send out that survey and we got a couple of responses from about four countries, people in Nigeria, Cameroon, Senegal, South Africa, um Zambia like we got I think about five African we are able to represent five African countries so so far what the research focus group have been doing is trying to analyze um that survey and we you can see there are different like different names here Dinka um Ruth Lamy so we have been trying to like analyze the survey so far um, and since in the spirit of bringing all the work here, like um, people working on different, like everybody is aware of what is happening in different focus group and they're able to chip in their feedback and chip in their, um, like chip in what they think. Um, I think we'll just do a short working session, just for maybe some minutes where we um, kind of build up a report, like a structure for a report. So let me go back to here. Um, I was supposed to bring a document. Sorry, give me one minute. Um, there's a document I'm supposed to share. Let me just do that. I just don't want to share the wrong thing. Um, chaos fabric. Search. I've seen a movie before this meeting, so I got carried away. Um, is it girls trip <laughs> no <laughs> it's true um it's it's um dynasty i don't know why i didn't see that that series since when everybody was seeing it but it's dynasty i'm watching currently um okay let me go back to share my screen i'm back Okay, so sorry for the break in transmission. <laughs> but yeah, so um this this document is so far the work that the research group has been doing. Let me just put it here and also put it in the chat. So this is the document, I think one of the documents we are going to be using. So yeah, um, so this is the work that so far, like I told you we're trying to write the report. Right. We are trying to, the the end of the survey is writing kind of like a report. You know how when surveys are done, people like do reports and then um, everybody understands what went on in that survey and the feedback, the data, not sharing the data publicly, but analyzing the data, which is something that we have done. I need to hide this meeting controls. Yeah, so here we have analyzed the survey. If you can look at each of each of us had like a a separate um a separate doc to work on, and we have 
you know, analyze the survey based on people's responses. Uh, based on people's responses, we have gotten, because we asked a couple of questions to people, like, what do you think would be the solutions? We analyze the keywords. Um, we've analyzed keywords about all these things. So the next step is, you know, writing the report and starting off um, a survey. So we are going to kind of have like a working session um, right here. So this is an example of what we want the survey to look like. Um, let me just start the new document. Docs new. And internet is so poor. Okay, so this is this is the ex not this is a very um, this is a bigger survey, right? But this is what we hope the report would kind of look like. Um, you know, having um, graphics, having um, introduction, having like a, a couple of things, right? So the working session is going to be about us building the structure. Um, reports. Make sure the document too. Sorry. Okay. So this is the document we are working with, and now I have to find the chart again. Oh, I should share the first link on the chart. This is the current one. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. And then this is the, this is the, I have a lot of tabs, but this is the one where you can find feedback on all we have been working on. Yes. So yeah, just to go back to what I said, this is so far we need to, um, these are the things we need to do after the survey, the post-survey analysis, write the report, publish the survey, do all these but I was hoping that in this meeting we'd we'll be able to do the structure, like work on the structure and also bring data from the spreadsheet to the document. So these are the two things I'm hoping that we can, you know, do in this working session at least. And then the research focus group people can take it from there. So this is what I'm hoping that we'll do here in this so everybody can get on the documents. So we are looking at the structure first, and let me just put in some structure of the reports. And then um, data from the spreadsheet. So let's do it like this. Um, some people can work on bringing data from the spreadsheets, um, the keywords. So the data here is the keywords. List of keywords. So let me start the table is one, two, three, four. So some people can work on bringing the keywords here and try not to repeat them. When you check on, okay, I think, I think, okay, see what's something that Adenka has done, which is really great. So these are the keywords um, here, a list of all the keywords. So bringing them to the documents because we want everything. We don't want like people to be moving from, from the spreadsheet to the, um, to the document. So bringing the keywords uh, maybe in a table format, bringing them to this document here. Some people can work on that in a table format. And then some people can think about like how the structure is going to look like the introduction. What can we highlight in introduction? Um, what like the structure of the survey based on this example here. So yeah, we can do that for maybe uh, 20 minutes and then continue the meeting. Is everybody fine with, or does anybody have any questions or that they're confused about? Because I think I did a very bad job with explaining. 
Um, yeah, so in my own case, I think I, I just need some um, other explanation, although maybe because um, my mind is also not 100% here. Is that to your mind? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to balance work and this, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to get a clearer picture of what we are trying to achieve and how, mm -hmm. how to achieve it. Okay. Or how to achieve it. So, so this is the so this is the clear picture, right? We have a survey, right? We 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 ran a survey last year. We have the data in a spreadsheet, and then the research focus group has been the one kind of like working on this so far since last year. Um, and we said we're going to merge all the meetings and talk about everything in the sync. Right, so I was hoping we have working sessions where everybody can help with the work and not just leave it to the research focus group to do everything. And we have like a to do here, right? Um, so this is like the two things, structure and the structure of the report, how would the report look like? And also um, transferring data from the spreadsheets to the documents, like the keywords from the spreadsheets to the document that would help build the report up. Right, so the working session is us working, everybody collaborating on this document. This is the report document, work on the structure and then bring the keywords from this survey, like all the links are, I can paste all the links again, bring the keywords maybe in a table format, have it in a table format in this report so that as people, as the person that wants to build up the content, they have like all the information they need here. So it's just a working session of 20 minutes. So everybody gets to work on it. Like, is that clear? Is 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 that kind of yeah, yeah, that, that makes some sense. But um I'm still kind of not clear. Maybe if um I see some people doing some trying out okay. some examples, that would work. Okay, no worries. Sure. I'll be clear but once you see me, I, I type it also. I just see me doing something, maybe. So, but if, are there any more questions? Like, do people have more questions? I have, I have one request. The okay. chaos of it, this, this particular sheet, please share the link again. Okay, sure, sure, definitely. Um, this is the link. And please feel free to, what keyword? So we're looking at these ones, this one's I'm showing, like just building up, probably somebody can start a table here. And then people keep adding like different keywords. Um, they are, they are, like we need all of them basically right we need all the keywords so that it's easy for the person writing to get the keywords and then some people can work on the structure you can just look at this example which I'm going to put again in the chat and you can look at the example and draw out things that we can spotlight the, the, so the report is not the same as this but this is like an example that we can look at um, so yeah, if anybody has any question, you can also ask. Uh, we can. Uh, uh, yes, we have a question. Thank you, sure. Uh, hello. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> um. So basically, are we drawing a table? Um. In this section that uh, says. Uh, uh, data keywords and spreadsheet. We, we're gonna draw a table there and then mm -hmm. basically copy and paste all the keywords in the spreadsheet into that table. Yes. Okay, and then please could you just go to the table again, the spreadsheet sorry. Mm -hmm. These are the keywords if you put on a DNK analysis like we put at the top here. I don't care if you, if you navigate to this sheet, you see the keywords and how many times they appear. Okay, I think I was a bit confused by the numbers. Okay, so the numbers is the how many number times? times. Yes, yes, how many times? So you can have like another column um, for that, the, for like how many times they appear. The element on column Q are those keywords as well. Yeah, this one. Yes. Yeah, there are keywords, but don't repeat them. Just pick them out. Don't repeat them. If it's here already, don't repeat these ones. 
I don't know why she did it like this. <laughs> but if it's there already, don't repeat these ones. And then you can check here for the ones that are not here. Check here. You see some keywords. If they are not here, you put them there. Yeah. If you check here, there are some keywords as well. So we we did like the analysis and brought out the keywords. Um, so we are taking keywords from other UK analysis and we are pasting them where? In a table here. Somebody can put up a table and just do that. Like in a table, just make it go here and keep pasting the keywords. Uh, this is this is not as, as seamless I thought it was going to be. But <laughs> what columns are we putting for the table? Um, we have two columns. Like for now, let's just do keywords and, and then we'll proceed from keywords. But let's just do keywords for now. While I while we put up this structure, um, we can have more things to bring from the spreadsheet. But for now, let's do keywords. So we we'll do for 20 minutes and then we can, or if anybody has any questions. Please um, where's the link to this, um, this file? I've, I've sent so many links. Let me send it again. <laughs> okay, I've sent it. Um, Hi, Rory. Hello. Um, you said we should start with just keywords for the table, right? Yeah, for the table for now. But we can't just have one column. How is the table? Mm, maybe we can add another, like we can add another column for how many times they appear. Okay, or you, okay. As far as the keywords are just there for now, we can arrange it later. For okay, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so we have the keywords and the counts, right? Yeah, and the counts and how many times they appear. Um, Will be before introduction. Looks like not every keyword has a count. It's a number of times here. What do you see? Sorry. Um, I, I didn't hear you. Oh, no, I was saying it, it looks like not every keyword in the spreadsheet has a count for yeah, the number so, of times it did. Yeah, so you can just check it and just put it in. Yes.
if anybody has any idea about who this was in part. Okay. How many questions did we ask? Let me see. My sources. So I want to ask um this data that was generated um how long was the link out in public for respondents okay. to respond? Yeah, it was also about four months, I think. It was out for about four months. Is that is that reason you asked? Yeah, well, um, why I asked is the 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 response. Um, it's a little bit. I think it's small. Yeah, and, and not just small. We didn't get enough representation from like a lot of African countries. Small that was sample. Can you hear yeah. me? What did you say? Yeah, we didn't we didn't really get so the survey was open for like four months. I don't know if Lamy is here, but it was open for like four months. And then we tried to like share the survey, you know. Um, I tried to share it to personal contacts, share it like, like on social media. We shared it, we we tried to like talk about it even like within the community as well for people to feel um but we didn't get like if you check the spreadsheet you see the representation was about from i think five countries um no and there are more countries in africa right so we couldn't get yeah. representation especially so like those we only have like four five months so there's nothing we could do about that so i think something that i think uh, which is the researcher that really started the work was like we can during the report we can indicate that yes that we did not get representation from all the African countries like these are the countries that we surveyed or we got responses from so that's something that we can do because we couldn't keep it open forever okay yeah, so during during the during the um report we should just um, put that in mind Still trying to figure out, build up the structure. Does anybody have any ideas on the structural part?
Are people normally putting up the keywords? Are people normally putting up the keywords just in case? Um, okay, people are still typing. What do we think about the structure currently? Are there things that we should highlight? Why did you stop it now? That person because. <laughs> um, um, what do we think about the structure so far? I think I am. Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, we can smooth in the words data because the, these words that they, they do not look like headings to me, but we can smooth in it like or the research group can smooth in it later. But let me see if we've covered every question on the um let me see the controls of our street and that. Let's see. I'm having my computer there. That this one. So these ones are, are like quantitative data. Um. So let's see. What challenges have we faced while contributing? This is um stopped contributing. How do you have to overcome challenges? These are solutions. How to enforce important things. Um. Okay, so I think we covered everything here. Okay, so I think everybody is okay with the structure. Um, I think 20 minutes is, we've done the working session for 20 minutes. So I think the, re with the research group can take it from here. And then next week or next two weeks, like during the bi-weekly meeting, if we want to um, do another working session here, we can bring it up again, but thank you everybody for participating in this. So let's go back to our meeting. And if you if you want to participate in it async, like like I said, the research um, focus group has been working on this for some time now. We believe because like different people, you know, it's we've not had like a, a lot of people. Um, so if you want to participate async you can join the hash um chaos africa dash, dash researchers group and you can um participate in that in that research like we are currently at writing the report that's where we are at now so if you can if you want to participate you're free to join and um continue the work um, does anybody have any questions or any feedback before we go to the next agenda item? Okay, no questions. So we, have, we can go to the next agenda item. Precious, I want to ask you how you're watching a movie from 1997. Is it comedy? It's a, it's a classic. Classic. Wow. So it what you never classic? get old. <laughs> okay, I'll go look for it. Pitch Perfect. Yes, I like Pitch Perfect too. Um, G.I. Joe. Oh, God, that movie is so old. <laughs> um, I think I've seen Top Gun by half. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go to the next agenda item. I don't think Kinsey is on the call. Uh, Kinsey is the one that's supposed to give us updates about what's been happening with design. So I think we might have to skip this one. He's not on the call. Or oh, is there any, any person from design here that wants to help Kinsey out? Let me.
Uh, yes, I could give some updates concerning the badging website specifically, but not this general design. Okay. So for the badging websites, we started working on the mobile. Sorry, can you hear me? My network yeah. is pulsing. Yeah, it's it's everywhere. It's just, uh, even my network is um, very spotty. But yeah, go ahead. I think. The yeah, yeah. So we started the mobile design a few a few weeks ago, months ago, actually, and we have some already complete. I think about one or two um screens are complete for mobile. Um, yeah, I am so hey. and. You have a link, Figma. Do you have a link to the Figma? You know, yes, I do. Yeah, yes. I can share it on the chat. Maybe I can show it so people can yes. see what I'm talking about. I used to have it, but I don't think I do right now. So let me just, if I stop share, let me stop share, I'll check for it. Don't share it. Okay, I'm sent it to the chat. To the chat okay great and just continue share back um keep looking for zoom this is the problem with having so many apps um okay okay it's loading up yeah you can go ahead okay my is loading yes. okay so I want to spotlight myself so you can just follow me, but still loading. But um I am media and since we're working on um the components. So we want to like make everything align with um like all the components, all the elements on the screen um be consistent with one another. So we're creating components to achieve that. And um I am media has worked on a few. And I mean, is working on creating the components while Peace is working on um, editing the text in it to make it like something that can go on the website. And that's like those are the two people currently like actively working on this. But I think um, one person um, messaged me today, and I think he would get on board back very soon. And I'll also do the same. Okay, that's that's great. Thank you. And if I could, I don't know. I don't know if I'm sick. Okay. Yeah, we can. So that's you. all for now. Okay, so if people want to get involved, like they've been designing the website for one of the projects in Chaos, um, DI events badging. So if people want to get involved here, you can um join the design group. Um, I wanted us to leave some minutes to talk about um something else. I'll just move to the next agenda item. But does anybody have any question about design for now? Yes, I have a question. Here. Yeah, go ahead, could you? Um, um yeah. I I guess my question is, what exactly are they designing? Is it a website or is it a yeah. app? Yeah, it's a, it's a website. Um, please show me how to navigate this Figma, Lamy, because it's only yeah. okay. Before I scatter something, yeah. show. Me. <laughs> Let me go on Figma for like now. So you just follow me. But well, if you want to move about, you use your two fingers to press on the move screen. This one. I kind of like show like you guys are more open. So it's more visual. Okay. So can you see, like, I'm zooming in currently. Can everyone see the screen? Oh, stop lighting around you. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> This is nice. Okay, yes, I can see it. So yeah, could I? This is it's so. Uh, do you want to explain or should I? Uh, you can you can explain. Please go ahead. Go on. My network is full, so you go on, please. Okay. So could I? It's a website. Um, they've been designing. Because it's actually lagging. <laughs> I can hear that. 
yeah, it's a website and it's been in progress. Um, it, the, the development is also in progress. I can point you to the repository. Um, but it's a website that they are developing. Like this is a landing page, and it's one of the projects here in the Chaos Project where we, uh, where conferences, open source conferences, um, apply for a DI badge. And we we go through a process of badging um, their events, like recognizing them for being diverse and inclusive with their conference. So, for example, uh, Bicon Namibia comes to Chaos to apply for a DI badge, and they we go through like a process. We go through a process, and we award them a badge. So we are building. We don't have like a website for it. Everything has been handled. Like we have a, on the chaos page, there's one page for it, but we decided to build a website because there's a lot of information that could be shown with the website and a lot of the projects that we have badged, which is up, up to hundred, um, could also be shown in the website. So it's just like expanding the work to its own website. So yeah, that's what the project is about. Does that help? Um yeah, I I, I think so. Um I also wanted to find out because it looks like the website is looks like it's quite far along. So I'm trying to find out exactly how far along it is and also like what uh, stacks are being used to develop it. Yeah, I think I think that's the next agenda item that we'll move to. Um, which is the, the website. Let me pull up the repository. Uh I sometimes rely on my search history, but it feels me. So let me go back to the notes and look for the link. Or if anybody has the link, they can send it. Okay, yeah, this is it. So this is the repository for web development work is ongoing. And it's built with, I think the, the, um, is React, they're using React, uh, JavaScript. So it's mainly React they're using, and it's already hosted on Netlify, um, which the, so this is so far what they have done on the websites. Um, I don't think this works or it is either. Oh, it works. Just. So they've, they've done the about page, it's still ongoing, you can see that. It's not yet, um, there's still a lot of work that's been done. The event, this page is not up yet. Um, this page up is not up as well. So like that's so far what they work and there are open issues that are available for people if you want to. There are some of them that have not been assigned to people. Um, there are open issues that are available here, and then some have been assigned, some people are working on them. So yeah, um, this is so far. So if you are a front-end person, back-end, or React, um, here are some issues that you can jump at. Kajai, does that help? Uh, yes, thanks. Maybe yes. if you can, uh, okay. I was about to ask for a negative quality, but I said it You're about to ask what? Sorry? You said you were about to ask oh, something. Oh, for the link to the repository, but I, I oh, see yeah. it in the chat. Yes, um, there is in the chat, and I'm also going to put it here. Work in progress. So WIP means work in progress. So open issues are here. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah. let me just think this. Does anyone have any questions about the website? A few minutes. To... Silence means no. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, okay. Um, I'm not sure. Hi, Jeffrey. I don't think I've met you before. 
Oh, I see somebody's hand up. Holy cheek. Oh, she go ahead then, Jeffrey. I don't think I've met Jeffrey before. Maybe Jeffrey wants to see hi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Okay, yeah. so for the um, website, I just started going through the GitHub repo. And then I want to I want to ask something. Is it that um, we can create an issue or we, because, because currently it's like almost all your issues on the GitHub repo is assigned to everybody. And another thing I want to ask is that if somebody is working on a particular issue, um, can you join the person or you just leave them to work on that issue that they are working on? Okay, so I wish I wish CK or people working on the websites were here. Um, Precious is here, I think. Precious, do you want to take that question? Um. Well, I haven't looked at it in a while, so I'm not sure I can answer that. Okay, let me try. So there are open issues, but you're you said like true. There are, there are people that have been assigned to it. So if you look at if you take a look at the issues and you don't find anyone to contribute to or participate or um help out on you can open an issue and give enough context on i know the work is going on i don't know where they are tracking the work but you can message tochuku or ask on the chaos africa dash dev channel you can ask um if there are things that you've checked and you need to, um you're looking for things to work on if you're not sure what kind of issue you should open right and then to your question about um if they if you can join someone to work on an issue it depends. It depends on the kind of issue, right? If it's a one fix, two people can't really send um, two PRs, right? We need just one PR. So um, that depends on the kind of issue that. And then there are some people that have signed up for issues here that have not done it in a long time. Um, something um, I plan to do over the next week is kind of like um, nudge people to if they are still working on it or if they would like somebody to take it up, you know, people can get busy. So I think I can nudge people because there are issues that have been open for a very long time. So, and then they have not still been fixed and um, we can nudge people to ask if they are still working on it and if they want to hand it over to someone else. So that's something we can do, Oluchi. Okay, thank you. Okay, um, great. Um, hi, Jeffrey. Do you want to say hi and let us know what you do and where you're joining from? Jeffrey, are you there? Um, you can use the chat if you don't want to use. Um, okay, I see you said you are new to open source. Or, um, okay, you're new here, but I love contributing to open source. So welcome. Thank you. You're joining from Delta State. Welcome. Um, yeah, Sire, you had your hand raised. Um, okay, yes, I have a question. So, um... If I want to contribute, but I don't want to design and I also do not want to develop, like I'm not, I don't want to write code. What else? Um, the first question is what you do so that I'll be able to answer. But there are okay, different. So, yeah. Okay. So, well, I do um, technical consulting, and but I write in AL. My programming language is AL, and I don't think um, it's not for building websites. So I don't think I'll be able to join okay. developers. So, okay, so yeah. I think since you said technical consulting, or uh, and that that should involve some bit of managing, like for example, with these websites, um, something that I think has been going on is that um, there's 
not let me not use there's nobody <laughs> but we need somebody to bring people together to kind of make the work smoother like maybe the work of a product manager or a project manager at least for this website right so that's something that is that needs to fill in the gap right so um, if you want to help with coordinating people together for this um, that's also there then there's also the equity research that we are currently doing that we did a working session for I don't know if you were here when we did the working session that's also there um, some bit of community uh, management you know hosting new com hosting these calls like at the end of the call we usually look for like a facilitator that would host the next one so things like that there are, there are different ways to participate um, so you can pick on any of them okay thank you that makes sense okay thank you so okay so I, I think we have just a few minutes so I want us to talk about this um so good news um we're thinking of having a chaos con so chaos con is chaos conference a small meetup not very big right we're thinking of having something like that um in Africa um for chaos Africa so that's like very big good news and we are thinking of um the, the plan what I thought about or what we thought about like hosting it during open source community festival how many people know about open source community Africa festival um if you've heard of it um so it's happening in June so we are looking at if somebody wants to take notes please put in all these things <laughs> so we are looking at hosting it um in June, no date yet. Um, yet, um, no location yet, and mm, budget, um, no budget yet, right? So, um, we're looking at hosting Chaos Africa in June. It's going to be a one day event, uh, maybe say five hours, or no, five hours might be too much, maybe. Four to, four to five hours events to be a four to five hours event um but it's the location is going to be in lagos let me just put lagos because we want to do it in co-location with open source community africa festival like it will just be it's going to be physical um jeffrey it's going to be physical um it's not going but we might look at an option of making a hybrid like streaming for people that cannot attend physically um so what do we think about the idea? Are people happy? Do people want to meet everybody? Is this something that we want to do? First, what do you think of the idea? <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I think it's a really great idea. And sounds very exciting. I'm very happy to meet everyone very soon. Yeah, I'm so excited as well. So um, I, I just want to get a couple of things from people now. It's going to be, it has to be in Lagos, unfortunately. No, not unfortunately, because I'm in Lagos. But not because I'm in Lagos, but because uh, Open Source Community Africa is happening during that time. And it would be great for, you know, people, a lot of people would come for Open Source Community Africa. So it would be great for people to participate and also for people that might not even be attending we are looking at also um, because chaos has this diversity fund that we might be able to you know help out with some people that might not cannot attend so there's something like that too so um the thought i wanted to get from people are um what are your ideas about location in lagos if you live in lagos um what are the activities that we can do what are the things that we can do activities that we can do in the um, conference aside from talks right what are the other things that we can do to because the idea is we are, we are meeting for the first time we want to be able to introduce that there are people that are going to join the conference that might not know what open source is and also, what, how many people should we look at? It's going to be a small gathering, but how many people should we look at for the registration? You know, those kind of things. So thoughts on people. Um, 
you can raise your hand, you can put in the charts. Okay, when you say of conference formats, could you expand more? Maybe I should just give some thoughts and ideas. I didn't think that this call was going to be quiet at this period because this is something very exciting. Okay. Um, let's Unfortunately, see. I, I don't live in Lagos, so I can't. I don't I worry. Can't you can't do worry. Thing. You must. <laughs> you, you, okay, what, how many people should we do that? What kind of activities do you think we can do? You can answer to that. Yeah, we can move this to the next to the next call but this is something that we should all think about because we have two minutes and i have a, a meeting next hour so but this is something we should think about and you can put in your comments here you can um, send it to me async um but yeah is there any question before we close the meeting because we are at the top almost at the top of the hour Yes, we please could you send a link for the the, re, the research uh, channel on Slack? Okay, you can you can access, I think you can access all the documents here. Let me just add this one. Uh, I will send this to you. Like this from this, um, you can access everything here. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, this is it. So is there any more questions? I have to jump out. Okay, yeah, we can keep updating the doc for keywords. You can keep doing that. So thank you very much, everyone, for attending. And I hope we'll all attend next, next two weeks again. I usually put the updates there so you can also catch the updates. So bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.